philanthropy uh -huh. mm -hmm. is the promotion of well-being of human beings uh, by individuals and groups who contribute their services uh, or dedicate their property and money. Oh, philanthropy differs from charity mm -hmm. in that it usually helps a large group or an institution rather than a few individuals. <laughs> Now, this is so good because nearly all civilizations have practiced some type of philanthropy. Ancient Jews levied a tithe tax for the poor. That was philanthropy back there in the ancient Jews. Yes. Instead of just giving, they just taxed the individuals known as the poor. Just like you're going to make me pay. Now, these... Well, I wouldn't call a tithe, yes, <laughs> real philanthropy. When you levy, oh, well, <laughs> when when you've levied a tax known as a tithe to belong to a religion, yes, it's really not that charitable to make people have to pay it. Now, probably back then during the times of the Jews, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> you probably got excommunicated or something. You get kicked out of Judaism if you didn't pay the tithe or they put you in prison for it. Then there's the ancient Egypt and Greece, <laughs> royal families and the wealthy gave gifts to established libraries <laughs> and universities. <laughs> Now, during the Middle Ages, a period of European history for the 40s, Christian church supported hospitals and orphanages. Oh. Now, there's that Christian influence again, the support of hospitals and orphanages. <laughs> you know, I've, I've had a talk with the Pope at various times about what Catholicism is doing. Yes. And I mentioned that you have the not-for-profit a uh, part of Catholicism? Yes. That would be all the Catholic hospitals. Yes. And the Catholic businesses, yes. where they use the Catholic name to get donations. Because I mentioned the burnt down Notre Dame. Yes, we did. Most of the churches that do not have the availability of earning their own income. Yes. You know, when you do something in the name of Christianity, and then you say, well, we can do this because of the donations. There's a little difference than the tithe and the offering. <laughs> See, these churches right now, <laughs> I told the Pope, I told the Pope. <laughs> See, it's not just the idea of the Vatican Bank. Yes, <laughs> It's that when you have 1.2 billion individuals, yes, I think that's the number of Catholics I can go get the encyclopedia out. Yes. Quite often these uh, hospitals and orphanages that would start from the, the last, oh, well, 400, approximately 1,600 years of for-profit businesses that the Catholic name has been used on a lot of those individual institutions. Now, I gave the Pope a business plan about how to increase the income of... <laughs> I said, now listen, Pope, here's how we increase the profitability of the profitable... <laughs> no, Pope, <laughs> I know, you're short of money. <laughs> you know, for every individual that gives, yes, <laughs> I thought I said, why don't you go see the place? <laughs> why don't you spend some money in the hotels? <laughs> this whole idea of giving a billion dollars to remodel an old church for 850 years ago, <laughs> I think you'll end up having to give some of the fucking money back.